All right, so check it out. Uh, shout out Lynchburg Hillcats. Shout out Pringles Philly Cheesesteak. I just finished filming this and I mentioned I might be doing this review as well. So you're getting two videos in one day, a little Walmart haul day. Walmart? You ever, you ever shop at Walmart? Walmart haul day, the Pringles Philly cheesesteak. It will be uh, at the end of this video linked. Uh, but in this video, we are trying the Reese's Big Cup. But they've added the Reese's cereal puffs in the middle. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. So, yes, my recent trip to uh, the neighborhood market Walmart. Do you have any of those uh, near you? You don't got to deal with any of the uh, extra, the extra, the extra. My mind. My mind was like uh, getting a blank right there. The extra uh, items like the uh, clothing, the sporting goods, it's just the uh, Walmart neighborhood market. And I found these right here, the Philly Cheese Steak Pringles. I launched that video earlier today. Uh, and this is what we got going on to end the day. Reese's Big Cup with the Reese's Cereal Puffs on the inside. Interesting. All right, so like I said, they're the big cups. Uh, probably wouldn't work that well with the regular size. Uh, so you're gonna get two of these cups inside the package. That looks like the standard, maybe some bumps on the top right there, housing some of the uh, Reese's Puffs. Let's open it up. I'm not too excited about this. Uh, they've been putting things in here uh, over the past year or two. Uh, what was it? Uh, pretzels. Then they put in some marshmallow. Was that one of them? They also put in potato chips. I reviewed all of those. I have a knife. We're going to cut this in half. We're going to see what we got going on. Uh, it was in the fridge. So uh, let's see what we got. Wow. Very hard to see very small indeed now the cereal itself they are larger uh, circles of cereal of the puffs uh, those seem to be a little bit smaller all right wish me luck Reese's big cup with Reese's puffs it's a Reese's uh, snack alert right here and uh, we're gonna give it a shot wish me luck Yeah, there's a little crunch. Um, they could have probably put any cereal in here, anything crunchy, because you're not gonna get the extra, at least I'm not getting the extra uh, peanut butter flavor that you're getting in the puffs. And if you're familiar with puffs, and I hope you are, you could see uh, based on the picture right there uh, that half of the um, puffs are chocolate and half are peanut butter. So if you're going to put these inside of the cup, uh, it's not all extra peanut butter, it's peanut butter and chocolate. Uh, but when everything else is peanut butter and chocolate, if you get where I'm going with this, you're just getting a texture feel and I'm okay with the texture. It's just not screaming uh, Reese's Puffs on the inside. It's just some little extra crunchies. You can see a couple right there. Yeah, check it out. All right, so I knew this was going to be a quick video as the fan is uh, taking the wrapper all over the place. This is okay, but this is an OG uh, candy for me, an OG chocolate candy, and uh, you start throwing things in the middle. Uh, the 12-year-old me would be all about this, uh, but for that little bit of extra texture, I'll do what I normally do, not normally do, sometimes do. I'll eat some chocolate, maybe a Reese's uh, peanut butter cup, and I'll also eat it while I'm eating like uh, smart food popcorn so I can get the cheesy saltiness mixing in with the chocolate. It's really good. Uh, what was the other thing I would eat them with when I went to the movies with the popcorn and the non perils You ever get those? The non perils Those little black little uh, kind of like dots with the white. Um, I don't know what they are. They're like sprinkles on the top. Uh, non perils uh, I would eat those with the um, 
popcorn at the movie theater. My brain is having a hard time catching up to my mouth. So let's end this video. One more bite. This is okay. I get it. They're trying to mix it up. Think outside the box. I'm a fan of that. Uh, but it really doesn't put this over the top for me. Um, it's just okay in my book. But the Reese's uh, peanut butter in the cup, solid as always, solid as always. More crunch there. But that's what it is. Yeah. All right, so I did think of something. I think if you like chunky peanut butter, which I prefer creamy peanut butter, but I think if you prefer chunky peanut butter, you might enjoy this uh, a little bit more than me. Uh, and they are smaller than I was anticipating. Uh, you can just kind of see inside there, you just kind of blend in with the peanut butter. Uh, but that extra crunch is something that if you do like the crunchy peanut butter, I think you'll like it a little bit more. So um, let's go quick review, one to 100. Um, Yikes. Uh, I mean, the original OG uh, is going to get, uh, you know, like a 95 to 98. Uh, this is a 80. I don't love it. I don't love it. It's like an 83. I'm going to give it an 83. I might be doing the OG Rhesus a disservice with that score. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of uh, throwing things into the uh, Rhesus peanut butter cup. But again, that's just me. A lot of people love it. Uh, I think I did enjoy the, uh, what was it, the potato chip one because it had the saltiness or did I not get enough of the potato chip inside? I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch that video. You could too in my Reese's playlist. But um, all right, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, uh, let me know, did you enjoy a Walmart haul day? This one right here, the Pringles, if you missed it, like I said, you could check it out only at Walmart. I'm pretty sure this is sold everywhere. I think I've seen a couple people review it. They found it like a uh, gas and sip. What movie? What movie? All right, so um, I could give you more clues, but no, we're going to keep it at that the gas and sip. All right. So, uh, thank you so much. Light up the comments on, uh, this product right here. Go check out that video and, uh, that's it. We'll see you soon with some more reviews.